Hi guys, my name is Daniel Pieper. I'm the head of marketing at Guards and Fricke. To make your life easier to design our products in, in your application, we offer these kind of starter kits. I guess you're interested what they contain. So for this reason, today I will unbox it and show you all the parts which are in this box. So let's open it now. On the top layer, you find our product catalog, uh, which will give you a perfect overview about our wide range of HMI products and SPCs. Below that, you find the most important thing here, the case containing all the single parts. I will open this case. The main part you will find inside this box is the HMI itself, which is mounted on an acrylic plate. You will find a foot for it in the box too, for perfect placement, uh, so you can easily work on it. Below that, as well as the power supply, and uh, in this part of the box, you will find a set of different cables need uh, for the setup. There are two bags um, with cables. This one contains a micro USB to USB and an Ethernet cable. And this one uh, contains an RS232 cable and a set of another single cables which you can use for a wide range of different uh, setups. Now I would like to show you the different interfaces of this HMI. For this I turn it on the rear side. On the bottom of the rear side you can see first starting here with the Ethernet connector, then we have the power connector here used for the power supply, th this one with this uh, adapter for this Santaro board and uh, some different adapters for different European countries. Besides that we have the connector for the digital IOs. As well for this has we have single cables which can be uh, assembled with different connectors. This one is for the digital I.O. Molex connector. Besides that we have the RS485 canvas as well. This can be assembled with the single cables and this connector. Besides uh, that we have the connector for the speaker and uh, a connector for a keypad. And uh, this one is the connector for RS232. And here we have the USB connector and a small uh, USB OTG connector. These cables are in this bag for the USB. And um, on the side of the board we have a SD card slot, this one. And if we turn it again, on the upper side, the top side of the HMI rear side you find this mini HDMI connector. Okay guys, now we will come to the first uh, booting of the HMI. You could do that simply by connecting it uh, to power with a power cable, but usually you as an engineer, as a developer, would like, I guess, to connect it to a PC with a terminal program to get access to it, to control it and to transfer data and do other things. This will be described later in another video. Uh, so, how to start this? Turn on the rear side. You can see again uh, the power connector on RS232. Um, here I start, which is usually recommended to see the whole process on the laptop. Uh, first connecting the RS232 connector, which is on the other side connected to this laptop. And then plugging in the power connector and then you could see what's starting here on the laptop screen guys you might wonder for which purpose this small usb stick is included in the starter kit I will show you this now. This is a so-called uh, flash and go update stick 
and it's used, as its name says, for updates or changing settings of the system. How to use it? It's pretty easy. First, plug in the USB stick to the USB connector of the uh, HMI. Then, plug in the Ethernet cable connector. And uh, last but not least, we have to connect power to the board via the power connector, which is besides that connector. And the board will start and boot from the flash and go stick. And uh, this is the startup booting procedure. And now, now you can see different firmware versions which are available for exactly this product. Um, they are on our FTP server and uh, exactly referring to uh, this uh, special um, article number. And so I will uh, start a download um, procedure by touching <coughs> these and yeah, then simply press the install button on the touch screen. Uh, the download process from our server will start now. If you need any more information about uh, this flash and go procedure, etc., you will find it on our website. The procedure is finished now. I will remove the USB stick and um, then we can start the reboot. It will be started automatically with the updated system. There you go, the flash and go update is finished. Thank you guys for watching this unboxing video. I hope uh, this was useful for you. Most of the information you will as well find in this uh, quick start manual or in, uh, on our website or if you need even deeper information, please give our sales team a call. Bye bye, stay tuned and don't forget Gas and Tricke, we make it yours.